So look, some of the guidelines more for a happy home, right? Is I, I'll give you this one piece of just simple advice, and it's simple. Just learn to smile more. That's the number one, and not number one, another one. Just learn to smile more. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned from amongst ma'roof and good deeds is that you meet your brother with a smile. That's amongst good uh, good deeds. So what about that missus who's been standing and cooking your food all day long, cleaning and doing all the things around the home, listening to the bestie of your or mother-in-law all the time? What smile she doesn't deserve? She's waiting for that. Acknowledgement, like I said, acknowledge. Acknowledging is very, very important. Secondly as well, is that be very careful. If we're living in a joint system, and even if not, be careful how and who you praise. Be, say, I'm going to say that again. Be careful of how, who you praise and how. Let me give you an example. So mashallah, there's a joint family system. You've got two daughter-in-laws in a house. And what happens is, one has made curry. So, sorry guys for the typical Asian food here. One has made, I don't know, some curry, ch- some chicken curry. And one made, I don't know, some ande and kofte or something. I just have, what, you give me an example. Dal. dal. Bismillah. <laughs> Someone made dal. One made dal, one made the chicken. The father saying, subhanallah, who made the dal? That's what you call dal. That. Oh, she's the new daughter-in-law. The old one, she's been thinking, Bayad, I've been cooking dal for five years. You never said that once to me. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Parents also need to be careful in how they praise. You know, subhanAllah, there was an incident, and you may have heard it, but there was one person, mashallah, you know, he, he had a bayan, the Mawlana was saying, Bayad, learn to praise the missus time to time. So he went home and he goes, Oi, hoi, yaar, the salam, the best I've ever tasted. She broke out into tears. So he was thinking, what have I just done now? Mulbi Saab, the sheikh in the masjid said, praise. I just praised you and you're crying. She goes, ji me ke kara, khana aj gwadi nu tarfuaya. The food came from the neighbors and that's why I'm crying. So the first time the food came from the neighbors, you praised. My food's been lame for 25 years. Do you get it? So be obviously now, mashallah, be good in praise, but do it all the time. Don't be something new. The moral of the story, be regular in praise. Do it all the time. And, but if it's coming from different sources, there's multiple dishes. Don't say, oh, mashallah, the chicken was top. <coughs> Bruv, those kebabs were sick. Bruv, did you taste the firni and the keel? Fine, next level. So they can think, I made the job. Well, I did it. My stuff didn't get praised. What happened? Second time coming, reluctantly should do it. It's about keeping peace. The Prophet wasallam once he went home and he asked, is there any food? And they pulled out some bread and some vinegar. So he just got some bread, dunked it in vinegar and khalas, that was his food. You know what I mean? Someone, I've had husband, wife, her kicking off. Why? Because she doesn't make a fresh salan every day. She doesn't make a fresh curry. So now you're having an argument over this. Come on, really? Subhanallah, they pick up some cedar. Lucky us, they read some cedar.